Righto, Telio there champs and welcome to the show. Now the HP Dragonfly is an ultra premium business laptop, but just because it's made for taking care of business doesn't mean you as a consumer can't buy it and you can buy it and I'll tell you what, I think this is definitely my favourite business laptop, even better than the ThinkPad X1 Carbon and I'll tell you why in a sec. And a lot of consumers do buy the ThinkPad. And you should be looking at this one too. Because some of these business features are like really handy. It has the privacy shutter on the webcam. A review where I talked about the webcam. It of course has LTE connectivity. So you can whack a SIM in there. Have internet on the go. Very secure. Has vPro for management. And this one here does have vPro in it. It has a fingerprint reader. Which consumer laptops have fingerprint readers as well. But it also has the privacy feature on the display. It is an option. But what this means is. If you're off on an angle, you cannot see what's on your screen. So, you know, that industrial spy next to you trying to get your IP, they can't see anything when they're sitting next to you. And unlike a lot of business laptops, which to be honest, some of them are clunkers, this thing here is premium, made out of magnesium. Yes, it's not plastic. It is actually magnesium. This one here has a beautiful, nice, deep blue color no fingerprints i love it it is really stylish elegant fashionable and you're gonna look stylish carrying it compared to say like an x1 <laughs> lenovo you're gonna look like what what's that thing i'll give you a quote from my girlfriend when i bought her a yoga and this is not a joke i would be embarrassed to use that laptop <laughs> and it's just purely aesthetic like she doesn't care about laptops performance or you know specs or anything like that she just couldn't dig the thinkpad the look of it i like it but <laughs> she she didn't like it and this thing here she loves it the style beautiful now, being a business laptop, it doesn't need the latest specs, and it is on 8th generation CPUs, but the difference between 8th and 10th is not really that much. It does have vPro. I don't even know if 10th generation have vPro yet, which if you don't know, is just like a way to manage like a fleet of computers easily. Now, it actually is a two-in-one, not just a laptop, and you can also get an optional Wacom pen, and it's good that they use the Wacom because that is the superior technology when it comes to pens, so if you want to mark down stuff and stuff like that, that's all awesome it's great for that you can get up to 16 gigs ram soldered in of course so you have multiple display options you have full hd 4k you can have shore view or without the shore view which is the privacy sort of guard thing and this one here i have which has the 38 watt hour battery comes in at 0.99 of a kilo wolf yes that is 2.2 pounds. So now you get the idea of why this is my favorite business laptop because it looks good. It's got the style, elegant premium, and it is so light, so portable. Now you should be comparing this to the ThinkPad Yoga and this is a much smaller footprint and it's much lighter, like 0.8 of a pound lighter. So, you know, if I was a road warrior, I'd much rather have this on the go. Now it has all the ports you want on the left-hand side, USB type A, you have the power button and also you have the sim tray down and on the left hand side two thunderbolt threes combination audio jack and hdmi out so if you want to work hard and then play hard hook up an eGPU to this and you can get some gaming done and of course even like video editing or something like that you can always add an eGPU and of course you could use a Thunderbolt 3 dock to expand its capabilities. The display I have is the Full HD display, it also has the shore view as I said, it is a really awesome display. We're talking pretty much 100% sRGB and it does say that it can go to a thousand nits. Now that's because of the shore view, it isn't really like a thousand nits blow your eye balls out but it's plenty bright enough the only thing i will say is with this shore view yes it stops people looking from the side but also it does affect viewing angles for you so you really got to have it in the sweet spot set to the right position to get the best viewing experience if it's a bit off like tilted back too much or tilted too much forward it will affect how it looks but when you get it in the sweet spot it is like an amazing full hd display of course, it's touch because it is a two-in-one and it has all the pen support, etc. Now, the keyboard and trackpad on this is really good. I wasn't expecting the keyboard to be this good. And it's one of the better keyboards I've used, like, period. And the trackpad is really good too. It's nice and smooth. It's got a nice click to it, nice feeling, and actually a nice sound. So, 
We're talking 8 out of 10 for both of those. The sound is probably one of the weaker parts on it. There's nothing wrong with the sound. It's quite serviceable, even at the higher volumes, but it's nothing special either. The only thing you can upgrade is the Wi-Fi, which is Wi-Fi 5, and also the SSD, which is a Toshiba. And with performance... 8th generation quad core power this is aimed for the business person so you know productivity sort of stuff they were getting along fine with dual cores for so many years and quad core for what business people use is it's probably even overkill and being a business laptop it's not going to top the charts this is typical business laptops it actually will go down to 12 watts under sustained runs even though it is a 15 watt part and that equals about 2 gigahertz on the clock there now because it is limited to 12 watts on a long run the fan noise isn't really that loud the heat isn't really that bad you're not going to get any temperatures much over 70 if that and yeah you can hear the fans when it is under load but Really, it's an ultra book. It is pretty quiet. I certainly don't think you're going to hear the noise of this laptop in the office environment, even under load. So yeah, everything checks out there in terms of performance. And yeah, business laptops, they are conservative when it comes to performance. But it's more than enough power for whatever you're going to need. Whack on an eGPU, work hard, game hard. This thing has got you covered. And I even reckon if you're a consumer, have a look. It's light, it's premium, got everything going for it. The only thing you can complain about is maybe the speakers aren't the best also it is pricey but for business that's like a non-issue and you can't actually put the pen anywhere in the body of the actual laptop but because of its size i'll forgive that but in all other areas it is quite amazing and i was even surprised i got good battery life with this like 38 watt hour battery i wasn't expecting much i was still able to get around five and a half six hours of battery life so that's pretty good you can get the bigger battery as well and that will give you around 10 hours the big battery so dragonfly for the win i'm glad i got this in i'm glad i got to review it. it's one that i haven't heard much about but now i'm glad i've actually had a look at it it's a really good laptop so i'd like to thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one tally ho